What's going on guys, Mr. Domo back at it again and I wanted to do a video on the SH Figure Arts Son Goku aka Kid Goku from the original Dragon Ball series. So if you guys weren't aware, uh, they started doing the original Dragon Ball characters. So far they have Kid Goku, uh, Master Roshi, and then Boma just is the most recent one. But Kid Krillin should be coming out pretty soon. And I think he's releasing now. But I just wanted to do a video on Kid Goku, which I have right here. And as you can see, we still have the new style art uh, box from SH Figure Art. So you got Goku and all his accessories. You got the art there. On the side there, you have the different poses of Goku. On the back, of course, you got all these accessories and all these different crazy poses that you could do with Kid Goku. And of course, on the side here, you still have that clear window where you can see some of the accessories and so forth. So, let's open them up and check out the figure. Alright guys, there he is, out of the box, Kid Goku. And I am loving that SH Figure Arts is doing the original uh, characters from the old Dragon Ball series so that is really cool and this guy comes loaded with accessories uh, let me show you one that's very interesting so each each of these characters is releasing with their own Dragon Ball so so far there's been four of them there's Kid Goku, Master Roshi, Boma, and Kid Krillin and each one of them is releasing with their little Dragon Ball look at this isn't that cool so he's got the four star Dragon Ball so if you didn't know uh, Shenron the Dragon um has a, a little slot at the bottom of the base where you could put those dragon balls so i'm assuming that they're gonna make seven characters from the original dragon ball series so that's gonna be really neat but the other three i don't know i don't even think they released that information yet but let's run down the accessories because he's got a ton so you get two extra face plates here so let me show you you got his uh angry fighting face there really nice then you have his more cheerful face. Then you have a set of holding hands for the Dragon Ball. So you could kind of place the Dragon Ball right there in his palm. Really cool. Then he's got, of course, you got to have the key blast effect hands there. So there you go. Fingers spread out and all that. Really cool. Then you have a set of waving hands. Really nice. Then you also have a set of the peace hands. Then you have a set of the fighting hands, fighting stance hands there. Then the last one is, of course, to hold the power pole. There you go. So you just slide the power pole right in there. Really cool. It also comes with another tail. This one's more of a candy cane hook. Uh, shape and then of course the regular one right here just kind of you know it's got a little curve to it really cool uh, then he also comes with a Nimbus the cloud back there and check that out really nice let me show you up close so he's got a little there's a little peg here so uh, you do get a stand with three arms and you can use one of those arms to hold the character up and then on the bottom there you got two more peg holes for those other arms to hold it on the base so there you go oh yeah and then i forgot this spins so that's cool so when you're displaying it, you can kind of have the effect like the clouds coming you know from different angles really nice and then of course you have the base back here and like i said you have the two arms here that hold up the uh, cloud and then you have this third arm where you could kind of place it on uh, the rear of the cloud holding this guy Goku so really awesome figure and then of course you also get the um, little clamp there you do have to assemble that not a big deal but for a little guy he's got lots of range of motions I mean he, he can move his neck he could you know he's got good motions around his uh, shoulder elbow uh, the wrist there really good uh, movement around his uh, waist here this swivels all right the front of his belt there a good uh, leg movement with the knee and then ankle 
and you get that toe isn't that cool that is really cool so for a little guy i mean he is made really well and he's got some good good movement um so that is always a plus uh so like i said the pluses lots of accessories for a little guy he's got good movement the only con is that because he is a little guy you do need to be careful because some of the stuff does uh, kind of pop out of uh, of place so like the tail here you know this tends to kind of get really loose and then just kind of pop out and that's just because i mean it's a small peg hole and i mean let me show you look at that look how small that little peg is so you know when you're displaying them not a big deal but if you're going to be playing them around with uh, playing you know around with them uh, i would say you know just use a little bit of caution but overall awesome figure um so i still need to do a video and on masaroshi and boma and i'm still waiting on kid krillin so i can't wait and uh so yeah that's pretty much it most likely i'm gonna end up doing those videos after the holidays just because i got the fam coming over and all so thanks for watching and i will talk to you guys later We'll